KB Entertainment. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get it. As y'all can see, I'm just sitting here in the 2K, just sitting here in park. You know, there's some things we need to talk about in 2K20, things we don't want to see. I may I may bring up some things uh, I would like to see, but, you know, I already talked about it. But it's always good to talk about it again because 2K needs to know these things. When 2K20 drop, there's things we don't want to see, especially from 2K19. Now, before we dive into it, go ahead and like, subscribe. Hey, hit that notification button. Now, 2K, y'all got some stuff y'all need to address. And it, it is trash. As I, I'm in park right now, so this is the first thing we're about to talk about. Okay, this park is pretty much dead, right? But if this park was full, you know how long it would take to get a game? When I, usually when I get in 2K, man, I probably can get a game over here, whatever. Uh, you know, basically, how normal people think, they're going to look at these people's players' uh, level. Depending on how it is, they're probably not going to play it. You know, that's just a process, right? It took about 15 to 20 minutes to get a game in part. That is trash. That makes no sense to me. Why did it take that long to get into a game? Like, I want to get into the game right away. Like, it's so much time to be wasted for no reason. I'm like, man, I'm waiting for a game. And then you may find a game, you probably with a squad. Yeah, as y'all see, I'm a 94 Pro, and most likely I'm playing with other people that's really high overall, too. When I go into a court, what happens? Other teams will come look at us and get off the court. Or we win a game, another team will look at us and get off the court. That is trash. So next 2K, y'all gotta hide something and come up with a system. You're Adam Park. Y'all gotta do something involving these level ups just so people can just be getting jumping off the court. Maybe just hide it until somebody get into the game. I don't know. Make it so you get a certain level to look at people's stuff. I don't know. Do something. Cause it is so trash right now. Some people jumping off courts. No matter what level you be elites. Jumping off the court, people jumping off the court. Amateurs. Oh, I don't want to play with this dude. Get off the court. It happens so much in 2K. You gotta come up with a better system. You have to. And the next 2K, I don't want to see this because this is the worst feature in the game. It's pushing. Why is pushing in the game? Like, why is that a thing? I, I'm legit. Like, I'm legit getting pushed, taken out the play, out the game. I don't understand it. Like, it is trash. Like, I'm legitly getting pushed out the game. Like, took him out. Like, guarding somebody and he's pushing me all the way to the baseline. The crazy thing, y'all try to patch it and made it worse. 2K, I'm telling y'all right now. Like, you was gonna add a pushing. And you wanted to fix it, all you had to do is make it a foul. If you just made it a foul, it would be so much simple. Yeah, it would y'all wouldn't have too many problems. I don't know who came up with the idea I'm gonna add push in the game. Now, the next thing I'm about to bring up, most people don't have a problem with this, but I, I kinda do. It happens to me quite often. As y'all can see, I'm on my point four ninety four point four for all the Hall of Fame badges. Right? One of my favorite features to do, even though I don't do it as much, is throw alleys. Now, when I'm throwing alleys, it usually buckets. But the problem I have with alleys is the buttons you use to do an alley. Why is it a two function button? Like, I could tap Y and I throw a lot of pass. Double tap Y and I throw an alley. I'm trying to figure out why why is a two button command. Like I don't understand that. I have too many moments where I'm trying to throw out and I just throw a lot. 
Like, why you just make it a, a button combination? Like, playing on Xbox One or YB or something. Like, PlayStation, uh, Triangle Square. Like, I don't, I don't know. Just make it a, like, a two, two button command thing. It would be some more simple. Really. So, simple. And one of the things that, you know, I ain't going full, I ain't going full detail on this. If y'all want me to go, I, I may drop a part two anyway. But, listen. 2K20. Stretch fours. They have to be, they have to be dealt with. Stretch fours are the fakest things in the game. It really is. Like, what they do in the game is not realistic. Like, what's, what's, like, think, when you really think about it. What big man, right? What big man got to be shooting threes like crazy? Like shooting lights out threes in the NBA. Like how they do it in 2K. No one. They sitting there catching, shooting, smacking fadeaways nonstop. Like they pretty much Steph Curry but as a center. There's no other center that's doing that. Like you got Carl Towns. He be shooting threes. Usually when he open, he only shooting a bunch of threes in people's face. Joe and B is a uh, decent three-point shooter. Who else? Who else be shooting threes with a big man? Uh, you got Brick Lopez. He be shooting threes. Uh, who else? Nikolai Mirotic on the Bucks now. He shoot threes. But they don't shoot. They don't shoot the way they shoot like in 2K. Like they really don't. Like on here is crazy. Big man out here catching, shooting, going crazy on the three-point line, fading away, shooting in people's face. Don't matter. Arguably the best shooter. Hold on. Hold on. Arguably the best shooter in the NBA history as a big man. It's probably Dirk. Even Dirk. Wasn't playing how they playing on the three point line in 2K. So in 2K20, we need to see some type of adjustment right there. We definitely do. Because it's absolutely trash. Stretches dominate the game and don't make no sense. I really, I just don't want to see that in 2K20. I really don't. I do like a lot of the features that y'all have uh, in 2K19. I like the defense. Defense actually matters in this game. They really do. So I like that. I like the uh y'all get it. Y'all get a clap for that one. Y'all get a clap for that one. 2K. Defense and 2K20. I like it. I'm just saying. I'll be playing a really good defense. And defense really determine how good a player is in, this, in 2K19. So that's a good thing. Defense actually matters. You guys can use lockdowns. I don't know. I'm liking the defense. We all know the servers when we trash. Because every year, 2K servers are garbage. I don't know. Something they need to fix. Something they need to address. We need to do something about these servers. These servers are always garbage. To be honest, I really had too many moments I lagged out of the game, but still. This service is trash. It's it's garbage. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that because they say that every year this two K seven is trash. I don't know. What can you do? All I want y'all to do is stop lying to us. Y'all be patching so much stuff and you saying y'all don't patch it. Yeah, patch jump shots left and right. If I were to drop a jump shot video, I guarantee it'd be patched in like the next three days. That's crazy. But y'all don't be patching jump shots. We all know y'all be punching. Yeah, we all know this. Jump shots looking complete different. Releases like, what is this? I'm like, wow. I'm like, okay. Trash. I don't understand it. Come on, 2K. I gotta do something. Stop lying to us, man. Still stop lying to us, man. A lot of these patches, y'all say y'all did things, y'all didn't do it. So I feel like in 2K20, y'all be more honest with us. Oh, we passed this jump shot. Oh, we did this. 
It'd be so cool, so smooth. I don't know. Like, what y'all think, man? We're going to wrap it up. I don't want to make the video too long for y'all, man. I don't know. Anything that I miss, like, I know it's some stuff. A lot of bunch of stuff. A lot of my stuff I didn't bring up. But we're going to talk about it again. But before we, do, before we leave out of here, go ahead and like, subscribe. Hey, hit that notification button. Y'all know.